can see me. Yeah. Oh, my room's a mess. My room's a mess. My room's a mess. I can't see. <laughs> What's up, everyone? Welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy to have you all today. Um, today's going to be an interesting day. And a pretty busy day for me actually um we have student bar association debate or like election panel today um and so i am defending my seat as the co-evening vice president so we're gonna see how this goes i'm excited um so yeah let's log in and be ready to go Okay, so the panel starts at 12.30, so I'm gonna log in now. We have two, we have one at 12.30 and one at five. Um, so I'm gonna log in now and get ready. Pretty excited. Oh, she graduates this year, okay. What the hell? you know what the experience is like being um or having sba board and, and how that works on academic uh year um and i i again as uh, someone that will be new to campus um i will be that much more incentivized to ensure that these events are spectacular that they're affordable um and that we are we're kept on our spending track as we um as we uh you know uh, roll out these events so um that's what i have to say Okay, so I got to experience a little bit of being on campus when we first got here. Um, but I think, one, yes, we need to come back to campus. God willing that that's, like, we're able to do that. I just miss being able to interact with students and learn students, see people in the hallway and meet students. Um, but I think, I don't know so much revitalizing as much as, like, as Tanya said, like vitalize and get it going. I think the way to do that is one, by being creative, um, being creative with how we present the events that we have, being creative with how we market the events that we have, um, and then being creative with what we offer in terms of events, right? I think also by adding an incentive for evening students, we don't have a reason to show up without incentive. We got too much going on in the background for us to be pulling up to an event just to be there. And then, you know, when you think about it, most of the events for evening students are at five o'clock. Most of us don't get off work till five. So if I'm rushing from work to an event, you gotta give me a reason to be there. So I also think with that being said, is listening to the students, especially the evening class, um, just as 
evening co-president listening to the students and finding out what works for them what schedule works for them what events will be beneficial to them what type of incentives would be beneficial to them and i think as long as we gear what we do towards the students and that we are offering for these students and they know this is for me and they feel special about for me right i think that's how we get engagement and we get students to want to participate whether we're on zoom or in class um but me too like i said i'm a hype man so i'm gonna try to make everything a party <laughs> if i can right i i'm gonna try to make everything fun and do something creative so that not only are we getting this professional side but we're still having fun it's still about mental health it's still about enjoying our experience as law students and so that's it thank you <laughs>
um, running for board positions on SBA, which I think is phenomenal. Um, so I'm so excited because I I want to do a big like I want to do a photo shoot. Like I'm I'm just really excited. Um, so yeah, I think this is going to be an amazing year. I don't know if I mentioned earlier that I um, I actually was voted. I was elected um, vice president of Bolsa for the upcoming year. So yeah, it's gonna be a busy year for me, but I'm excited. That just means more to vlog about, right? Um, more to share with you all, to share the experience of law school, and then, and particularly, just being an evening student. I love my evening, evening class. Like, I am so gung-ho for them, and I am just so excited for like the great things that will be available to our class this year. I am praying that we get to go back on campus because that would just be absolutely amazing. Um, but yeah, so I am going to, since I have the day off, um, because I had to do these two meetings today, I just wanted to make sure I could focus. Um, so yeah, so now I'm going to get ready to finish my con law reading for tonight, kind of type up my notes. Um, I also want to just reflect on the questions that we had today at this meeting because I'm pretty sure they're going to be the same at our five o'clock meeting and then at our five o'clock meeting I'm really going to have to put on a show because my my class will be there um and my class is so great I love them I mean they are really rooting for me they gave me these cool slogans to use um campaign wise and so I'm actually going to put some more of the, my campaign stuff out but yeah so um yeah until later I'm going to go ahead and get back to reading cases gotta love it um so yeah see ya all right oh my gosh i had to put my glasses on so part two um, excuse me i had to move my um uh, all right so part two of campaigning I actually just woke up from a nap, so I had to put my glasses on because I know my eyes are like blush I read. I ate and then I finished my con law reading and then I was so tired, like I had the itis, so it's like ridiculous. So I caught myself taking like a 20 minute nap. My nap obviously lasted a little longer than 20 minutes, so now I'm trying to get myself all together. Before we once again start, um, the panel for the evening, and then I have class right after. I actually have class till 10 o'clock tonight, so. Wait, what? Wow. Well, I bet. I get so just see this is that ADHD life. I got distracted by the news. <sighs> the Derek Chauvin of the Derek Chauvin trial, so I need to go back. That's what I have to do tonight too. I wanna watch the closing arguments. Okay, sorry, I got distracted by a Fox News update about the Derek Chauvin trial, but I don't have time to watch it right now because I need to log on for this second part of the panel, but they did closing arguments today and I don't really wanna go back and watch them after class so I can hear what's going on. I listened to a little bit of it um, earlier, but I was trying to read and like prepare and it was just too much, there was too much going on, so yeah. But yeah, I'm gonna go back and check it out because I'm interested to see what happened. So there's something that came up saying that Derek Chauvin, it could be overturned or something. I don't even wanna get involved. tell you that con law was only an hour 
and yeah i was freaking struggling like i am so tired and it's only monday so i need to get myself together um but in my defense i have been up since 5 a.m and i took like two little cat naps today so i still have one more class that's about two hours and it's one of my favorite but my least favorite classes <laughs> Um, and I know that probably sounds confusing, but it's my favorite class just because of the substance, but it's also my least favorite class because it is very emotionally taxing on me. Yeah, I find myself trying to contain my frustration and confusion a lot, but, um, but yeah, it's a great class. I have a great professor, so, you know, I'm here for it. Um, the second candidate's panel, oh, excuse me, blah, 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 I'm so exhausted. The second candidates panel went really well. Um, the energy was just there. I think we all fed off each other's energy from the first panel. Um, the other person that's running against me as well, she she was there for the second one, but her energy was great also. Um, I love that like three of us are moms and um, yeah, we have so much going on. So I'm just really excited for the school year the upcoming school year i'm praying that in some capacity we can be back on campus um although i do enjoy being online i just miss interacting with students and seeing students in the hallways and elevators and things like that so i am hoping that we will be on campus again um but yeah so i am going to review my notes for my last class of the night and then I'm gonna go to my last class and I'm probably gonna end up calling it a night after that. I think I'm gonna hit the sack early um, just cause I actually stuck to my schedule today and I, you know, I got up early and do what I need to do. So on that note, I'm going to end this vlog here. Until next time, thank you all so much for joining me. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Um, ask me questions. What do you want to know? Um, what should I blog, vlog about? Um, yeah, so it was nice. It was fun. We made it. And I will be recording and uploading more often. I'm still getting used to like being in front of the camera in addition to I'm always going a mile a minute so I have to like remember to take my camera out and then also like remember to finish right so there's so many episodes that I started but then I end up getting busy and just it slips my mind to like take the camera back out and finish the the vlog so yeah we got it done today thank you for being here with me and until next time have a good one bye